In this video, I'll be talking about one of the things that you can do to help set you apart. You might have heard me mention this in my previous video and that one thing is blog posts. Today we'll talk about why you should start your own blog and what are some of the free websites to help you get started. As we're all aware, cybersecurity is a growing industry with fierce competition, especially in the entry level roles. So how does one stand out from the competition? And you might have guessed, blog posts. To start off, what exactly is blogging and why should somebody do it? Blogging is basically you writing an original content and publishing it to the public. You can kind of think of blogging as an online journal and there are several benefits of doing this. So without further ado, let's start with reason number one, demonstrate your skills. Writing a blog is a great way to showcase your skills and knowledge. You can write about anything from technical topics to your experience and also to your achievements that you've achieved. The sky is the limit on what you want to blog about. But in terms of cybersecurity, you want to be focused into the domain of interest. For example, security operations. Reason number two shows that you have experience with the tools. If you blog about the tools that you have used, you've practically demonstrated your experience with the tool. So this includes the features and functionalities and it proves to the employer or whoever's looking at the blog post that you have some kind of knowledge on said tool. So it's best if you write it in such a way that teaches the viewer on how to use the said tool and maybe when you might apply that tool. For example, if I'm looking at a network packet capture, maybe I will throw in Wireshark or even Zeek and I will write about how do I install that? How do I use it? And what are some of the best practices? This will not only show the viewer or whoever's looking at it, understand how it works. It will also reinforce your knowledge as well, gaining a lot more confidence in using that tool, which eventually feeds into your resume. Number three, research. You might think, Blogging and research, what do you mean by that? Well, sometimes there's a topic of choice that you're interested in and truth be told, you might not know anything about it and that's perfectly fine. So when you actually go in and research on that topic and blog about it, you're demonstrating your curiosity and showing your potential employer that you can actually research. <laughs> because if you didn't know, Googling things to find out information is a skill. Reason number four, showcase your written communication. One of the common skills that employers tend to seek is communication skills. Now, writing a blog may not demonstrate your verbal communication, but at least it will demonstrate your written communication. In addition, like all other skills, the more you do it, the better you become at it. So writing a blog on a regular basis will help you improve that written communication skill as well. Reason number five, sneak peek into how you work. Writing a blog can help employers see your thought process and how your mind works based on how your blog is laid out. It is a way for you to show off your logic and critical thinking skills as employers tend to seek out these skills as well. For example, when you're doing a capture the flag event, you can document the steps that you took to identify the flags and what are the tools you've used to help you identify those flags. Reason number six, be a part of a community with like-minded individuals. Posting blogs regularly can help surround yourself with people with similar interests. You will have a place to direct others who are not too familiar on a certain topic or tool. And eventually you can translate that into a nice networking opportunity because you never know who is on the other side. Those are the reasons on why you should get started, but you might ask yourself, well, where can I get started? Or how can I get started? I'm going to switch gears and talk about some of the free resources that you can go and sign up and start your blogging journey. So the first site I'm going to introduce is Wix, spelled W-I-X. Wix allows you to create a website for free and all you need to do is sign up with an account and answer some questions. After that, select a web template and you'll have your blog up and running in no time. Site number two is Medium. Starting a blog on Medium is extremely easy. All you got to do is sign up for an account and you're good to go. Now the main difference between Medium and Wix and the other websites that I'll be mentioning is that Medium doesn't allow you to create a template or at least as far as I know anyways. Instead, it's a straightforward process where you start writing, uploading your pictures and bam, you're good to go. Site number three, Blogger. With Blogger, you can create a blog in seconds and you guessed it, you have to sign up for an account. 
you can type in your domain. You have the option to put a custom domain if you want. Obviously you gotta pay for that, but you don't need the custom domain. You have the option to select different themes and layouts to make your blog look nice and appealing. And the last one that I'll be mentioning is LinkedIn. This is actually one of the best ways to demonstrate your knowledge across your networks, allowing potential recruiters to review the articles you post and get a sneak peek into how you work. So to summarize, getting into the habit of writing blog posts will make you look a lot better, shows that you have real interest and passion in what you write about. And the main thing, it will set you apart from the tons of people that are out there. Let me know in the comment section down below if you plan on starting a blog post. And if you do, link it. Again, you never know who's on the other side taking a look. If you are someone trying to get started in cybersecurity, you don't have to do this alone. I wanna help you with that journey, which is why I created a site called mydfir.com, which you can sign up for free mentorship, no strings attached. And this is where I'll be posting books I recommend, cybersecurity resources, and blog posts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.